we're going to be talking about um, reading and writing whole numbers. Um, but before we do that, there is some terminology that we need to go over. Um, there's also some sets and some things like that that we need to talk about. So um, we're going to start out here with saying that when we talk about mathematics, when we use math, um, we use a, a, a set of numbers that's called the complex number system. Now, that is a complete system that we use. Now, in this class, uh, we're going to start out with the most basic of sets, and then we're going to build that as you go through your math classes and as your um, skills improve. So, we're going to start out at the very, very first set of numbers that you ever learn. And this is like when you're a very little kid and you're watching Barney or Sesame Street or something like that and you start learning how to count. And so you start with one, two, three, and so on and so forth. This is the very first set of numbers that you ever learn and it's technically called the natural numbers. Now sometimes we call it the counting numbers just because of what it is. You know, it's us learning to count. Then, whenever we get a little bit older, um, we find out that there's this thing called zero. You know, this is like when you go to the store and you say, you know, I want this little toy or whatever, and Mother says, no, I have zero dollars. I have no money. So we add that then to our existing idea of what numbers are. And now we have a set of numbers that is starts with zero, and then it's also the natural number. So 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. This set is called the whole numbers. And the whole numbers is going to be the set that we work with at the very beginning of this basic math class. So, and then we're going to add some things to it later on. Now, the whole numbers, um, we write our number system using each one of the numbers 0 through 9. 0 through 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are called digits. Just one single number, that's a digit. And a digit is just the symbolic representation of an amount of something. So like, you know, the number 2, you know, we write it as a 2 with that symbol. That is just the symbolic or the symbol that represents two items or two things or uh, whatever, two of some things. Okay, now we also have this thing called place value. And place value is the positioning of the digits. So we have, and this may be a little bit difficult to see here, and if it is, I apologize, but it's kind of hard to get pictures, you know, without being so grainy on here. Um, we start off on the very right-hand side with the ones place. So, for instance, this number that we have here, 153,524, the four is in the ones position, and then next to that we have the tens position, and then the hundreds, and then the thousands, and then the ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, and it goes up from there. Now, you notice that we put a comma every three digits. These groups of three digits here, that's called a period. So this very first period is our ones period, and then as we move up, the next period is called the thousands period, and then the next period would be the millions period. So it's just a, a grouping there, and then and that's separated by commas. All right, now let's see what they're going to have us do here. First of all, it's just going to be naming um, the place value. So they want us to identify the place value of the 4 in each number. So here we have 341. The, the 4 is actually in the tens spot. In this case, in the second example here, the 4 would be in the thousands spot. Should have wrote that number out instead of just writing as a number. Then over here, in this number, remember if you need to put a comma in there, you can. This is 460,329. So this 4 is in the 100,000 spot. Okay. 